Let me see if I understand and can explain the difference uh, that you will find in matching. Actually, let me even change the document as we go. Let's say that you want to you find this, it doesn't have to be with the wild character dot, it can be with any other character, but it's really the difference between having an asterisk or the asterisk followed by the question mark. The first one is what is called a greedy, it's going to match as many as possible, and the one with the question mark is going to match you s a f once or you know as few as, as possible, it's called lazy instead of greedy. Let's actually go to the website and we have this string. So let's say that what we're going to capture if what is between the double dashes and the single dash. So we start by the first thing that we are matching is a digit. So we put slash D, but it's not just one digit, but it can be four or as many as we want. So we put the plus sign and that get us where we want. And then there are two dashes, we just simply put the dashes and we're going to capture, yeah, we put here what we want to capture and let's say that we want to capture everything that follows that. So we use the wildcard dot and then the asterisk for one or many. But notice what happens even if we continue say well I, I, I only want until not the whole thing but I want to stop it where the other dash is. Well, notice that we, we kind of overshoot this in here. We, we didn't want to uh, do the match until all the dashes. I just want to match the first one that you show up. And that's where the lazy uh, search will come. So notice that here the match group is A, B, dash C. That's not what we want. We want just A, B. Well, if we instead make this a lazy one instead of a greedy, it's going to stop on the first dash and it's going to get precisely what we want. Let's actually follow this with a more concrete example. Here, uh, this is a log and we want to match the capture group that, that comes after command name. We want to say that we're interested in this uh, custom property. Let's actually go to the regex 101. Here is our string. Here we can see what we want to capture. What we want is in capture group, it's only going to be one, CMDLET, right? Well, that's easy. I mean, we can just say that this is command type, go into the find command type, and there's a uh, equal sign. We take it literally like that, and then we put the capture group that we want, and then what we one in here is basically everything that is here until we find a space. Well, again, we, we see that overshooting happening in here because it finds uh, this space and that space and that space and, and that's not what we want. We, we want you to stop when you find the first pay, space. So if we instead put here that, then we are extracting in the capture group command L-E-T. Actually, we, we see that the solution in here is a slightly different. Still, you, we have the, the lazy matches, and, and but this one overcomes for when there are more, one, more one space or more, you know, stuff like that. But let's actually do one more. Where do we see? Yeah, I see this character combination. So let's actually take this uh, log and look for destination host name. So if we want to match this destination host name, all we need to do is type, um, you know, destination host name, the literal uh, column, there's one space, again you can put here a question, uh, a plus sign in case that there are more than one uh, space in there, and then we want to capture test host. So, if we were to put here any character, zero or more, and then we say, well, I want you to stop when you find the first forward slash, uh, we overshoot again because it's going to find this and, and, and that one and that one and, and, and that one. 
and even that one. So we, 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 don't, we want you to do it the only once, the, as few as possible, the lazy one. So if we put the question mark here, we get in our capture group what we want, which is that parameter. Let me actually compare it to what the what we have in the cheat sheet. Yeah, it's, it's uh, basically the same. A little bit more elaborated. So instead of stopping on the uh, first uh, uh, occurrence of a white space, it doesn't have to be just a space. I mean, it's a white space. It can be tab. It can be anything. Uh, if we put the destination port, we'll make it more robust because it will stop uh, right there. Uh, the other thing that we see here is that we have between the range of the of the of the characters that can be found uh, is not a dot as I have it in here, any character, they're saying anything that is not a blank space. And that's what the negation, the caret there is a negation, and that's a, a white space. So everything that is not a white space, and this makes it a little bit more uh, specific than the ones uh, we have, no problem, we can actually change it uh, to that. So here we have replaced that dot by the show me anything but blank spaces, which is fine. So if we have in here, uh, actually it will match in the previous case because I put the plus sign there. So again, different ways of uh, doing the same operation. Uh, these fellows here made it more robust by putting here destination, destination port. However, if I don't put this space on the string character in here, if I just put it like that, it doesn't find it anymore. And that explains why in here they put that uh, asterisk in there, zero or more. Right? Uh, if we change ours and put the asterisk in there, it will find it perfectly fine. What else? Let's go back to the other one and compare a bit of the things that... Uh, how they made it. So here, instead of my uh, white space, they actually said, well, you can have a white space or and or a a column, right? Uh, notice that by doing that, when you put between the range, you say, well, it can have a, uh, a column and uh, one space or, or more, then that makes that makes it more flexible to say that you can have a log that has destination host name with the column or not or without the column. So I'm pretty sure if I take the column out, yeah, it's still matches that. If I put two spaces in here, it will still match that on the on the uh, test host, right? Again, different ways of um, achieving the, the same result. I hope that by now you understand a little bit better on the greedy and the non-greedy uh, or the lazy type of uh, combination of uh, characters.